Hello, second grade. Today is lesson 82 for phonics. We are going to talk about two new suffixes today, but first we are going to start with a spelling sound review. Make sure you have your worksheet ready. I will say a sound. I want you to repeat the sound and then together we will write the letters that make the sound on the lines. Number one, A. A. A, consonant E, comma, A, final digraph, A, Y. A. Number two, ooh, ooh. Digraph O, O says ooh. Number three, O, 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 consonant E, comma, O, final digraph, O, W, O. Number four, OI, OI. Diphthong O I, final diphthong O Y. Oi. Number five. Ch. Ch. Digraph C H, final digraph C H. Comma, final, trigraph, T-C-H. Number six, O, O, L, final, L, L, O. Number seven, ing. Ng. Digraph NG. Ng. Number eight. Bull. Bull. B L E. Bull. And number nine. Th. Th. Digraph TH, the. Now let's practice spelling some words. Under the review words for number 10, let's write the word hay. Hay. The animals need hay to stay warm. Hay is H A Y. Number 11 is Lodge, Lodge. Have you ever been to Great Wolf Lodge? Lodge, L-O-D-G-E, Lodge. And number 12 is proud, proud. I am so proud of you. Proud, P-R-O-U-D, proud. Next, we will spell some sight words. On number 13, let's spell the word America. America. America needs a capital A, M, E, R, I, C A America. Number 14, let's spell the word earth. Earth. E A R T H. Earth. And number 15, the word is government. Government. G O V 
E R N M E N T government. We have a sentence to write at the bottom of our page. The sentence is the rattlesnake hid in the dry grass. The rattlesnake hid in the dry grass. Don't forget to start with a capital letter. The rattle snake, that's a compound word, hid in the dry grass. We need a period at the end of this sentence. The rattlesnake hid in the dry grass. When you are finished with your sentence, you can put your worksheet aside for a few moments. All right, on my board, I have some words. Can you read the words at the top? Cupful, hopeful. Each of these words contains a suffix. What is the suffix in these words? Suffix F-U-L. What do you think F-U-L means when it's a suffix? Cupful, hopeful. F-U-L kind of looks like the root word full, just missing one L. So F-U-L means full of something, like full of hope. The cup is full, okay? What about these two words? Can you read these words? Thickness, redness. What is the suffix on these two words? N-E-S-S. -S. What do you think that means? Like in thickness, redness. Suffix N-E-S-S -S means that something has a certain quality. Like in redness, it means that something has the quality of being red. In thickness, it means that something is thick, okay? Do you remember how to code suffixes? We put a box around them, very good. And once we put the box around, oops, we want to make sure that only a root word is left. So when we cover that up, we're left with the word cup. When we box in the suffix, we have the word hope. Put a box around the suffix, you're left with thick. Put a box around the suffix and you're left with the word red. Now, after we box the suffix and we've made sure that a root word is left, all we have to do is go back and code the root words, okay? There's no other coding inside the suffix. So let's go through and code all of these words, okay? So for cup, we need a K back on the C and the U is closed in, so we'll put a brief. Cupful, cupful. We always put that accent mark right before the suffix. For hope, we have O consonant E. Make run above the O, cross out the silent E. Hope, hopeful. For thickness, we have digraph TH and digraph CK. Underline both the digraphs. The C in digraph CK is silent. And the I is closed in, so I'll put a brief. This word is thickness. And for our final word, the E is closed in, so I'll put a brief. Redness. Redness. So all you have to remember is now we have two new suffixes. Suffix F-U-L, meaning something is full of, or 
suffix N-E-S-S, -S, meaning something has the quality of. So let's go back to our practice sheet. We are going to spell words that have these suffixes. So under the new sounds and words box, for number one, let's spell the word harmful. Harmful. So harm is H-A-R-M, then add suffix F-U-L. Harmful. Number two, let's spell the word goodness. Goodness. Start with the root word good. G O O D. And then suffix N E S S. Goodness. And for number three, let's spell the word hopeful. H O P E F U L. Great job. Don't forget to read and spell your high frequency words and choose two to write complete sentences. Make sure that you have capital letters and punctuation marks. We are going to go ahead to today's worksheet. So join me there. We are going to practice coding more words. This is the worksheet you should have out and ready. Number one, we always check for suffixes first, and there is a suffix here, F-U-L, put a box around that. You don't have to do any more coding inside the suffix, so let's code the root word. Digraph S-H, then A consonant E. Let's read this word, shame, -shame shameful, shameful. Number two has suffix F-U-L, put a box around that. I like to go ahead and put the accent mark too so I don't forget. The root word has digraph S-H and the I is closed in, we'll put a breathe. So the root word is wishful, wishful. Number three has suffix N-E-S-S, -S. put a box around that. Like I said, I like to put the accent mark. For the root word, we have digraph C-K, underline the digraph, the C is silent. And the I is closed in, so I'll put a brief. So the root word is sick, sickness, sickness. Number four has a suffix, suffix N-E-S-S. -S. Again, put a box around that in your accent mark. In the root word, we have a combination. We have combination A-R, put an arc underneath that. So the root word is darkness, darkness. Number five does not have a suffix. There is no obvious coding, so we need to find the vowels. Vowel U and vowel I with one consonant between. So let's try to divide right after the first vowel. So the U is open, so we'll put a macron. So that syllable says two, and then the I is closed in, so we'll put a brief. That syllable says lip, put it together, tulip, tulip, that is this flower. And for number six, we have trigraph TCH, cross out the T, the I is closed in, so we'll put a brief, sw, itch, switch, pointing to the light switch. Let's read the sentences together and answer the questions. Mitch told Jim, his little boy, to pick up his toys after dinner. Jim forgot and went to bed without picking up any toys. 
At 12 o'clock, Mitch got up to check on a noise that woke him. In the darkness, Mitch slipped on Jim's toys and fell on the couch. Uh-oh. How do you think that he felt? Not very good, right? Number seven, when did Mitch get up? Did he get up at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, or 2 o'clock? This says at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Number eight, why did Mitch slip? Why did Mitch slip? What did he slip on? He slipped on Jim's toys, but what else was happening? It was 12 o'clock. It says in the darkness. It was dark and there were toys on the floor. It was dark and toys were on the floor. That is a complete sentence. It was dark and toys were on the floor. So for number nine, it says we should pick up our toys so people don't slip. Yes or no? Yes, we should pick up our toys. All right, join me on the homework side and I will tell you how many coats you need. All right, on the back for number one, you will have three coats. Number two has five. Number three has three. Number four has three. Number five has three. And number six has seven. Three, five, three, 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 seven. Great job today.